Hey, welcome to another 24FX Academy video. This is a Tuesday tip trading video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about something different. Usually we talk about videos with the charts and the screen and all that stuff. Today's going to be a little different. I wanted to share something personal which helped me when I first started as a trader, which five books that helped me. Um, these books are some of my physical books and then two of them, it's going to be some audible books, you know, I feel like as a trader sometimes if you're working a 9 to 5, you don't really get the time to sit down and read a physical book. So sometimes you may need an audio book when you're driving community to work or at the gym. So these are the books. Um, they don't go in order from which one's more important to me, but I'm just going to say these are my top five. So the first book I like to talk about is High Performance Trading. This book um, is by Steve Ward. This book really set things to the next level for me um, as a professional trader. I got this book maybe two and a half years ago, and it really set the tone for me to become a better teacher. But it also pushed me as a trader to the next level. And the reason why, because you need to understand your psychology. I know if you're in our private group, I talk about other books that help me with my psychology, but this one is really key. Um, as a trader, you need to know yourself. Um, there's other books that I talked about in other videos about how to figure out who you are. Best way to do that is take a personality test. I strongly recommend the Mike Bragg's uh, personality, personality test um, to figure out who you are as an individual. Once you know who you are as an individual, things that you like and what you don't like, you really can dive into this book. Like I said, this is High Performance Trading from Stephen Ward. Great book. Definitely a big pick up and if I had to say if you're a new trader or a medium trader get this as a new trader it'll get that learning curve right to the, to the top like um, why try to focus on your mentors towards the end when you should focus on it in the beginning so definitely check this book out um, a second book which is honestly I'm not gonna lie is my favorite it's from Brandon Moyer uh, it's called what I learned losing a million dollars. This is an audio book that I have on Audible on my smartphone. And um, this book I got right out the gate um, six years ago, trading Forex. And this book was entertaining in life. Uh, you can connect with it in your own personal life. Um, they talk about psychology, talk about the journey as a trader. They talked about his personal gains and losses. Uh, and it was something that made you, at least me, made me reflect on where I was at that time. I was still working a 9 to 5. I had a whole relationship. And even when I wasn't in a relationship, there was parts of this book that was really relatable. Especially when he talked about loss. Um, and in the book he talks about his mother passing away and his father passing away. And um, the, the seven griefs. And I know in our videos we talked about the seven griefs. In trading uh, this really is what I learned that from this is where I learned it from and it really set the tone where when you lose in trading it's just the same type of loss you would have in a relationship or if you lost a family member or even a pet so this is still another psychology book but still life lessons you can use out of trading and also understand hey when you're up you're up but when you're down you're really down so this is one of those great books uh, another book, if you're into technical stuff, um, if you're a new trader, even a medium trader, get yourself a dummy book. Uh, currency trading for dummies. Uh, I'm a forex trader. I started in the penny stock industry, but this book really set the tone. I know dummy books helped me as a person, especially when I first started getting into real estate. I use dummy books. Uh, anytime I'm learning something new, I use dummy books. Cause I'm a dummy, so I need things broken down nice and simple. And I don't know if you as an individual want things broken down nice and simple. So this is one of those great books. You want to check them out. Um, they have different books. Like I have another one. This is not on the book list, but I have a personal library to the left for me. So uh, this is another one for high performance investing. They have this one. And they have another one for trend trading. So like dummy books, I'm not a liar, man. I'm very transparent. Um, these books are golden to me. But as a Forex trader, this is the one you really need. I think now they have the fourth edition. I have the third edition. Um, 
came out a few years ago, maybe two or three years ago. But uh, this book really sets the tone, really cuts everything down. If you're really trying to understand fundamentals, it's going to teach you also technicals. It's going to teach you some of the cool things like open averages, things of that nature. So this book really helped. So this is going to be uh, number three on the list. Um, so that's that. Number four on the list. This is a little different. Uh, this is a book from Scott Patterson. Um, it's called Dark Pulse. Uh, this book, for me personally, helped me understand that I'm not trading against humans like you and I. I'm trading against a machine, that um, a human that created. So then now I'm trading against a supercomputer. And I have to understand that there's supercomputers every single day scalping or doing big trades. And um, this is a type of book for you to understand the market as a whole. You know, get a bit better perspective from just thinking, hey, it's me at my computer, and I'm trading, and I'm trying to make money. This is not a slot machine. There's machines, there's corporations, and there's other humans going against you. So you need to understand all the players on the playing field. And that was one of the books that really set the tone for me three years ago. Um, it was another audio book that I would listen to going to my 9 to 5. Um, it kept me motivated. It kept me not going crazy because when you're a trader and you don't have a community, you don't get to talk to a lot of people, so these books really help me as an individual really get to the level of, hey, I can learn and talk to someone because I never had a mentor. So as a trader, I had these books, you know, I had these audio books, I had these physical books, and they really set the tone for me to really get those communication, that dialogue, dialogue that I needed until I was able to feel comfortable talking to other traders on Twitter and Telegram and now having my own community with Paul and doing podcasts and how I met Paul. So um, it took a lot of learning, self-learning and about myself and also about the industry as a trader for me to gain that confidence to do other things. But um, that book really gets the mind right, really understanding, hey, you know, there's machines. Now, there's another book that I have that's very similar to Dark Pool's High Speed uh, Trading, which is called, just bear with me. Quant, that was another great book. Um, that was from Scott Peterson once again. So uh, I have two Scott Peterson books. And uh, it's weird because I never realized that they're both from him. And like the books are totally different. It's still about high frequency trading and also just quantitative uh, patterns of trying to make trading strategies. But also those books really set the tone for me to understand, hey, you know, as a trader, you need a trading strategy. You need to know your ins and outs of how you're going to get into the market. If you don't know how you're going to enter, you're going to lose your money like a slot machine. And just like a casino, you know, you have professional gamblers. You have people that are really good at 21, which count cards. Or you have professional poker players, which I respect and love. I love watching those games because it's connected to the trading for me. You know, like watching a professional poker player... Like, you are really understanding the mind of a, a, a gambler, like, a true professional gambler. Like, he's taking risk, you know, he may lose, you know, but then also he understands the reward and he understands that he's going to make the profit. And he has a plan, you know, or she has a plan. Like, they really understand that, hey, it's other people at the table. You have the dealer, or she's playing against you. And then you have the other four players at the table. And as everybody knows, if you're sitting at a table for 30 minutes and you don't know who's the sucker in the room, you might be the sucker. You don't want to be the sucker in trading. So when you're sitting at your terminal and you're like, you know what, why am I losing this money? You're becoming a sucker. And you really understand, you need to understand that you need a strategy. So those books really help my mind get right to understand, hey, I need a strategy. I need to start writing this stuff down. And last but not least, um, this book, Special Book of Mons, uh, is really my first trading book, not counting, um, this trading book was, is a definition guide to points and figures, which is my first technical analysis book. It's really old, it's over six years, seven years old, but this is my first Forex book, which is from my dear and near... Wayne McDowell, 
He has actually a great YouTube channel, which he gives great fundamental and technical analysis. Great guy, and if it wasn't for this book, I probably would have never made it as a forex trader. Like, I still go through this maybe once every year. You know, it's a great tool to have. Book well, you can get it on Amazon or you can get it off his website. That website's still up, really not sure. But uh, thank you, Wayne. Um, I actually am a subscriber to his YouTube channel, which you can still do the same. Um, but this was really one of the great books that really set the tone for me. A lot of technical analysis, a lot of fundamental analysis, not much about psychology, but at the end of the day, um, he talks about things similar to the, the military, which um, I have a lot of family members members that's in the military, which I liked how he uh, made those metaphors and still kind of helped me with my psychology to think, hey, strategy, strategy, strategy. And um, this was one of the great books. So once again, this is called The Forex Bootcamp Guide to Strategy and T um, Tactics by Wayne McDowell. Uh, all these books will be in the description below. And um, once again, guys, uh, as a trader, you should definitely want to learn, learn, learn. The more that you learn, the more that you're going to earn. I know it sounds cheesy to say. I'll put this book down. I know it sounds cheesy to say, but at the end of the day, if you're not willing to learn um, for yourself and you're following a guru, you will fail. And you'll be like the 95% of traders who don't make it. And I want you to become that 5%. I want you to be part of that 1% that are lasting over the 6 and 7 years. And above as a trader. So um, this is Travis from 24FX. Thank you again. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you didn't, hey, tell me what we're doing wrong or what we can do better to add to the community. Once again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Take care.